everyone. So today I thought I would come on here today and to quickly talk about something that I came across on a Facebook post and it kind of led me to uh, look into a specific chapter in the Bible. So somebody posted this question and I thought that it was really interesting. So they said, what are you talking yourself out of that God is trying to bring you into? And when I first read that, I was like, hmm, interesting question. <laughs> what am I talking myself out of that God is trying to bring me into? I realized that I am very good at talking myself out of things. <laughs> I have a harder time talking myself into doing something rather than, you know, talking myself out of it. Like, it's easier to talk myself out of something. And with fear, I don't like saying that I have a lot of fears, but I do, right? I'm human. And I know that I mentioned in a previous video that I have anxiety. And I've always had anxiety since I was like 12 from, you know, what I can remember. So fear is definitely in me and it definitely feels like it's one of my default settings that it's kind of like my go-to. And when I was reading the book of Joshua, specifically in this first chapter, God is giving a very specific command and the command and like, there's two specific words inside of this command that really speak to me and can speak to a lot of people who are having like who have a lot of like fear and who have a lot of discouragement especially you know in times like this like sometimes we can feel fearful we can we can have a lot of discouragement but this is where it is if you go to Joshua and if you go inside of the first chapter um, he repeats this command in verse 6 7 and 9 and it's almost worded the exact same way not only that, but it's also found in Deuteronomy, but let's first stick with Joshua here. So basically God is giving Joshua a, ch uh, a pep talk in this first chapter and he is calling Joshua to lead his people and kind of take over for Moses. So in verse six, God tells Joshua, he says, be strong and of good courage. And then again in verse seven, so it didn't even take multiple verses for God to repeat himself right away. I'm the type of person who loves to have things repeated to her. I don't know. People are like, what? <laughs> it's true. I love when people repeat things to me, especially when I'm in a place of, I, I just need encouragement. I need people to say the same thing over and over and over again for it to sink in. I am never bothered by it. I like when people repeat themselves. So, you know, God's repeating this to me in my mind because I could have already forgotten by then. You know, be strong and of good courage. He says something right away. It's almost like he knows that it's it's my default setting to go into that place of fear and into that place of discouragement. And I need to be encouraged and I need to have courage and be strong. And so God's already repeating himself. And then you go into verse nine and he says it again. He says, have I not commanded thee? Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest. I love the fact that he repeated himself so many times. Whenever God repeats something in the Bible, you know it's important. And he repeated it here three times in the first chapter. Oh, four times. Because God repeated it, and then when the people pledged allegiance to Joshua in verse 18, right at the end, Again, even the people told Joshua, only be strong and of a good courage. So even the people are repeating to Joshua. So when I was thinking about this, I was, I was looking at it and I'm like, I need to constantly encourage myself. I need to keep reading this because there are a lot of things that God can be calling me to do and I have a hard time pushing myself to do it because I'm afraid, because I have fear, or because I'm discouraged. And instead of talking myself into it, I can find myself talking myself out of it, which is so much easier to do, but it's not the right thing, I guess, for you to do. So looking at it, if you go to Deuteronomy uh, 31 verse 6, again, you can see the words, be strong and be courageous, said more than once. And one more thing I forgot to mention is we have to remember that Moses didn't necessarily have an easy task ahead of him, the one that Joshua was about to take over for. He was leading the Israelites who did cause Moses to have some challenges along the way. 
And we have to remember that Joshua is being asked to lead the same people here. <laughs> so Joshua probably did have some fear, um, but God was always there to remind him to be strong and to have courage. So I feel like I repeated those two words so many times in like, I don't know, five minutes. But like I said, it seems to be very important because God mentions it so many times throughout the Bible and there's a reason why it was repeated so many times. So I just wanted to encourage you, each and every single one of you who are watching this video, that I know that times are starting to get tougher and it's getting hard, but um, when you hear God's calling to bring you into something, talk yourself into doing it. Tell yourself all of the reasons why you need to be strong and you need to have courage and God will always lead you and he will be with you wherever you go, just like it says in verse nine, and we don't have to have any fear. But not only that, we need to go out of our way to remind others to, you know, also have um, some strength, have some courage, because everybody can easily get discouraged. Everybody can easily have some fear instilled inside of them, keeping them from wanting to push forward or wanting to do something that God is trying to lead them into. So not only do we have to remind ourselves constantly, but, you know, let's be those people who are there for others as well, to be there to encourage them and to help everybody else keep moving forward and to do God's work as, you know, one big family. Let's all work for God. And yeah, thank you very much for listening. And I hope you guys have an amazing day.